Hi, my name's William. I'm part of the EE retail team and I'm here to show you how you can add an email account to your Samsung Galaxy S4. First, I'll show you how to set it up automatically and then manually with a few simple steps. Now, to set up an email address on your phone, start on your home screen and tap the apps icon. Scroll to select email. Enter your email address in the field. Then tap password field, just here, and enter your password. Once you've entered your password, hit the next key, and there we go. Your phone will detect your settings. Now follow these easy next few steps. Okay, so now we're on the next page. What we need to do is choose how often you want to select your emails to come through to your phone. So at the moment, we've got it selected for every 15 minutes. You've also got your notify me when your emails arrive, so your phone will alert you when you receive your emails. And you've also got your automatically download attachments when connected to a Wi-Fi network. Give the account a name. For example, work email, then tap done. It really is that simple. Now your email is set up and you'll be taken straight to your inbox. Now, here's how to add your email account yourself. These are example settings for a Gmail account. Server details will be different depending on the type of email account that's being set up. Okay, to start setting up your email manually, go to your home screen and click apps, scroll to and select email, Enter your email address in the field. Okay, and then enter your password in the password field. Once you've completed that, press manual setup just here. And what we need to select is the middle icon, which is IMAP account or IMAP account. At the top, just ensure that your email address is on there. Both these fields should be filled in with the same and your password should be on there, what you've just typed in previously. Then select IMAP server. So again, that's IMAP server. So we'll click here. And what you need to enter is imap.gmail.com. We'll scroll down and then to security type. Drop down on the icon here and we select SSL. We'll go down again to the port field, which is just this one here, and select 993. Once that's done, select next. Your Samsung Galaxy S4 will now confirm the settings that you've already entered are valid, then take you to the outgoing settings. Now tap the SMTP server field, which is this one at the top. Now you should enter SMTP, so that's smtp.gmail.com. Scroll down and tap the security type drop down menu, which is this one here and again tap SSL. Continuing scrolling down, tap port and enter 465. So, 465. And then next, ensure the green tick is showing next to the require sign in, which it is just here. Tap the username field, again, which is here, and ensure your username details are correct, which they are. the password field and ensure your password is correct and quite simply tap next. Once this is done your Samsung Galaxy S4 will confirm the outgoing settings that you've already entered are valid before continuing on. Okay so on this screen here you can choose how often you want your emails to come through so at the moment it's set for every 15 minutes. You can also notify when you get an email so you can select your ringtone and then you've got automatically download attachments when connected to a Wi-Fi network. So for example, you have large attachments such as pictures and videos, it will just download as soon as you connect to your Wi-Fi network. Click next. And now you can see here, you can give your email account a name. So for example, we'll do EE. And once that's done, just select done. 
and now my emails are all on screen. That's it, all done. If you need any more help with your device, check out our website at ee.co.uk forward slash devices help for loads more tips and tricks. Thank <laughs> you.